Okay, Google. Good morning. Good afternoon, Joel. The time is 2.26 p.m. Currently in Cooper City, it's 86 degrees and mostly cloudy. Today, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 90 and a low of 77. Due to the current humidity, it feels like it's 95. Have a wonderful day. Okay, Google. Turn on the bedroom lights. <clears throat> time to get up, boo-boo. It's kind of warm in here. Okay, Google, turn on the fan. Okay, turning fan on. Well, that was a quick demo of what it's like for me to wake up in the morning, although this was really around 2.36 in the afternoon, and it was smart enough to say good afternoon when I said good morning. Now, I'm about 5% Alexa in this house and about 95% Google systems. One of the big differences, the sense of humor. I think Google's a lot funnier. Let's go test that out. Hey, Google, tell me a dirty joke. Here's a dirty joke for you. Why did the coffee taste like mud? Because it was ground just a couple minutes ago. It's the king of dad jokes. Let's try another one. Do you know the way to San Jose? Hopefully this will help you find some peace of mind. I can help you with directions. No, thank you. Not a problem. Hey, Google. Self-destruct. Self-destructing in three, two, one. Actually, I think I'll stick around. Now, another thing is we can make groups of speakers. I have one over there and the clock over here. Hey, Google, play Crazy Train on Bedroom Group. Crazy Train from YouTube Music. Playing on Bedroom Group. And there it is. And it's also playing over here. While in the shower, I like to listen to the news. Okay, Google, play the news. Here's the latest news from AP Radio News Updates at 10.52 a.m. today. AP News. Good morning. I'm Ed Johnny. There is a new requirement. My morning coffee, but you know, it's kind of dark in here. Okay, Google, turn on kitchen lights. Got it. That's turn much better. It's kind of warm in here. Okay, Google, set the nest to 72 degrees. All right, setting whole home to 72 degrees. Let's see if my wife is in the house. Well, I could see right there in this video, her car is right there, so she must be somewhere. Uh, let's go check another app. Go to our home app, and well, there's the front door, there's my office, there's the living room, there's the bedroom. She's not there, so hmm, I guess she must be in the guest room sleeping. This is the newest addition to my smart home by Chamberlain. It's a smart garage hub. Works with Amazon Ring, works with Google Assistant. You can start it with your voice and launch the app. What does it do? Well, from anywhere in the world, I can press the button and open my garage door. Not only that, I can know from anywhere whether it's been opened or closed with or without my knowledge. And my wife can do this too from her phone. Now, one of the coolest things is, let's say you wanna close it. Watch this. Oh, there's my notification, it's open. Let's go close it now. There's the warning, beeps, flashing lights, so everyone get out of the way, the garage door is going to close. There it goes. Now, they, Chamberlain has partnered with Amazon that if you link this to your Amazon account, the driver gets a one-time code and they can open the garage, place a package in there, take a picture, close the garage, and your stuff is safe inside your garage. Here's another idea. Let's say you know you're gonna be away. Oh, there's my message, the door is shut. You can leave your kitchen garage door, in my case, unlocked, shut the door, say there's an emergency, you could open the garage for a neighbor to come in and check your house, and that's completely secure. So there's lots of good things that you can do with this little device. Give me a call if you like one. I got about maybe 20 left and you can have one for free. 
One of the things I like about this house is my Wi-Fi enabled smart home irrigation control. I could run it from the app or I can just say, okay, Google, water the lawn. And if I check, let's see what happens when I go ring the doorbell. Hi, it's me. Surprised? Okay, Google, run DBot 500. All right, starting DBot 500. Do you have one of these older Honeywell panels? Remember with the buttons? You don't have to always touch that anymore if you've got an Alexa. Watch this. Alexa, tell Total Control to arm. Security is armed in stay mode. And there Security we are. Security is armed in stay mode. Without touching a button, it armed. Let's try disarming it now. Alexa, tell Total Control to disarm. What's your voice code for security? And there we are. Security is disarmed. Security is disarmed. How about that? I ran it without even touching a button. Here we are at my desk. This is where I do all my work. I got my Google Home Max here and a Google Home speaker, which is usually behind me. I have it on mute, but we're going to talk about it in just a minute. Watch this. This is my calendar program, and I've got five items here for tomorrow. From anywhere in the house, I could ask, like when I'm going to bed, Hey Google, what's my calendar for tomorrow? There are four entries tomorrow. Here are the four first entries. Three. At 8.15 a.m., you have walked the dog. Okay, Google, stop. Fault. Let's say it's okay. midnight. Let's say it's midnight, and I forgot to add a, an event. Okay, Google, create new event. What's the title of the event? Call Dad. Okay, when is the event? 12 o'clock. Got it. Call Dad tomorrow at noon. Do you want to save that? Yes. And this sure. is... I saved your event. And when I refresh my program, there it is. And even if I change it here and refresh it, it will change here automatically. So good. One of the things, I've got um, these cameras here. This is the desktop display for my Nest cameras, which is part of Google. And if I come here and go to cameras, boom, there they are. All my cameras. If I want to see... What's going on in the living room? Say I heard the dog barking. Boom, there it is. I could do the same over there. Um, I could change the climate. I can do almost anything. Um, now watch this, speakers. I've got a few groups here. Let's say I have my office group, which includes this. I'm gonna take this off mute. The mic's back on. And let's say, okay, Google, play my favorite music on office group. Got it. Playing your YouTube music playlist called Music on Office Group. And I could change things. Speakers. Let's say I want that group. And I want to lower the volume and as you see i have them at different volumes and it's very cool and i could broadcast this to the entire house anyway i'm just scratching the surface of things that i can do okay google stop let's just mute this because we don't want to interrupt us now if i were to have a package at the front door this would bring up my front door camera and it would tell me i have a package or if someone rang the doorbell it would tell me who was there it actually remembers faces and Names. Now, wouldn't it be cool if we could make a phone call with this? Hey, there you are. What'd you want, buddy? Actually, I'm using you as an example. Okay, how's that? I'm making a presentation for my networking club. I had to call someone who has Google Duo on their phone, and I know you do. Okay, Dan, I'll talk to you later, okay? Muzzle tub. Bye. Bye. Okay, Google, hang up. That's it. 
Time to relax this evening. Hey, how you doing tonight, boo-boo? Okay, Google, turn on the TV room lights. Okay, Google, play NBC Nightly News broadcast on Shield. Okay, NBC Nightly News broadcast from YouTube, playing on Shield. Yeah, I changed my mind. Okay, Google, turn off Shield. All right, turning off Shield. <sighs> okay, Google, play my favorite music. Shall I still play that on Shield? No. No problem. Here's your YouTube music playlist called Music. Okay, Google, turn off my lights. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on the tour of my smart house. You got to see how you control anything in your house or outside of your house just with the sound of your voice. You don't have to touch anything. And you can make your house look like it's lived in or sound like it's lived in even when no one's there. You could even receive packages when nobody's home securely into your garage. If any of this is cool to you, give me a call. I'm Joel Lukacher, techhandyman.click, and I could help it make a reality for your house too, in whole, part, or whatever you want. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.